then I, I see I always end up getting off track here but as I was over there um, looking for the uh, the lens just to look at here that point came up and now that I just went to put that back something else just came up because somebody had asked me about a cellular phone repeater um, I think I know who it is but I'm not positive so I'm not gonna say at this point uh, just in case they didn't want anybody to know what they were doing not that this is a you know top secret these are sold retail this is made by digital now this is an older piece this is the 12 volt part of it if I want to hook it up in a vehicle or or something on 12 volt side this is the 110 part it just unplugs from here this is a cellular phone repeater it comes with two antennas one is your receive antenna or whatever inside antenna and then the other is your outside antenna this naturally stays in the house you, you don't want to, you want to keep it from the elements um, so basically I said transmit receive antennas but they both basically transmit and receive the in indoor antenna as a rule is smaller than the outdoor antenna the outdoor antenna could stand as much as maybe two feet high the indoor antenna as much as maybe six to eight inches and what you do is you kind of put this in a central zone of wherever your location is so if it's in your house and your house is in a weak zone well then just put the indoor antenna somewhere within the house so that the cell phone can connect to that indoor antenna then the outdoor antenna has to be out of sight and at least I believe it was 40 feet away from the indoor antenna so in other words the two antennas can't see one another physically uh, if they were to have eyes that is <laughs> but a lot of things have changed because they're changing the decibels of the antennas which is weakening the signals uh, they're making changes on these things every day so that uh, you can use them in smaller areas like I say I used to have this one on my boat we had a lot of dead spots on the boat uh, you know on the water that was um, and one of them was in the Thimble Islands where my mooring was if we wanted to go over there and spend the weekend depending on if the tide is coming in or going out would depend upon if I can use my phone or not because naturally when the tide changes the boat changes direction you follow so um, so it would depend so I put this on there so that no matter where the boat was in what direction regardless of what the tide was doing um, I would still be able to use my my cell phone because this would amplify it for me uh, and when we went other places for instance if I was going across the pond you know from uh, from uh, Branford for instance over to the other side of Long Island or if I was going out towards uh, Montauk Point or out past Fishers sometimes there's a few miles of dead zone out there because if the signal is just so weak well this will pull in the signal because the antenna is bigger um, and then naturally amplifies everything for me so they do make cellular phone repeaters this one's made by digital all right I don't know if you can see it or not hello hello now this is an old one all right they make newer ones digital was kind of the first guys out there digital makes a lot of amateur antennas they make a lot of marine antennas they make a lot of commercial antennas digital is a pretty decent company um but there's a lot of them out there you know they make them lesser power they make them so you can actually put them in your cars now so that they don't have to be so far apart um so you know shop around they're not cheap they've come down but they're not cheap this one even with my discount when i bought this uh, if I remember right, it cost me $549, or, or yeah, $470, no, $497, I'm sorry, for this. So they're not cheap, but they definitely work if you have a problem with cell phone service.